want to take a moment to go over scheduling a read job and radio management. So most importantly to understand in this is that the server will not know the status or any of the information on the radio until you've read it. All we've been able to do up to this point is add the radio serial number to the system. It's a pretty simple operation to schedule a read job, but there's a couple ways to go about it. You can select multiple radios at a time here by either clicking or shift clicking and selecting a group of radios. You can drag and select all of the radios and then you can right click and hit schedule a job. And this way you could actually start this read job. You'll see that it's only of option is read. We're using USB and wireless LAN at this time. We can give this job a name. Maybe this is the initial read of all of our radios and we want to log that with a date. Um, this we will cover in another video, but that is all we need to schedule this job. We could also hit control J. The same window would pop up or we could go up to the clock here and it will also let us schedule a job. Remember while you were doing this, you are only affecting whatever radios you have selected in radio management. So if I only did this by hitting control and selecting specific radios, I would only be scheduling a job for those three radios. So if I wanted to schedule this job, I'm going to go ahead and give it a title, a name so I can reference it later, give it a date for my own uh, knowledge of when I schedule this job, and I'm going to hit OK. You're going to see a couple things happen here. If you look down at the taskbar, you're going to see that it scheduled three out of three jobs. Then if you look here in radio management, you will see that the job status is set to running waiting for device. If this is what you see, that means you have scheduled the job correctly and all you have to do is plug the radios in to do that first read. While talking about scheduling read jobs, I think it's also important to know that you don't always just schedule read jobs on brand new radios. So let's take this radio as an example. This radio was already in the system, but I, for some reason, whatever that may be, I need to reread that radio because maybe it went to the depot and it was programmed outside of RM or many other reasons. It is the same exact procedure. You select the radio and one of the multiple ways you can click read. This time you'll notice that at one time RM had information for this radio. So you're going to tell radio management, yes, I would like to read this radio. And maybe this is back from depot. Once you hit OK, you're going to see the same kind of information happen. You're going to see that the job was scheduled. You're going to take a look and see that it's waiting for a device. And we can now see that my job is set as back from depot. Once you plug that radio in, in either case, whether it's a brand new radio or another radio, you're going to see that this changes. So we can look at the status of when we plug the radio into the system and the radio management will read the radio and it'll tell us that it's running the read job, that it's running the processing job, and then it'll tell us that the job is complete. Every time a new radio or an old radio is read into the system, it's going to replace the pre-programmed or prior template name with the serial number. This radio has been read into the system 12 times, and it's going to give us all kinds of information, flash code information, the model number, uh, code plug version, firmware version. It's going to tell us that the job is complete and all kinds of other information. We have successfully read this radio into radio management.